a big tip of the hat, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say, ah, to Gene Koch, uh, who uh, tweeted to me about the, in fact, I retweeted his tweet, uh, about uh, Brett Kavanaugh. Let me, let me just, you know, run through this, um, and then we'll pick up your phone calls here. But, but U.S. Code 30121, right? And you can just Google that. I mean, you know, US, U.S. Code 30121. It is titled Voting and Foreign Elections, Contributions and Donations by Foreign Nationals. And it says, it shall, now this is what Congress passed. This is the law that the House and Senate both passed and the President signed into law at some point in the past. I'm not sure when. It shall be unlawful for a foreign national. Now that's an individual or an individual representing a company, right? Not, 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 not just a nation but an individual, it shall be unlawful for a na foreign national directly or indirectly to make a contribution or donation of money or other thing of value, Hillary Clinton's emails, or to make an express or implied promise to make a contribution or donation in connection with a federal, state, or local election. It, it shall be unlawful for a foreign national directly or indirectly to make a contribution or donation to a committee of a political party. It shall be unlawful for a foreign national directly or indirectly to make an expenditure, independent expenditure, or disbursement for an electioneering communication. And it shall be unlawful for a person to solicit, accept, or receive a contribution or donation from a foreign national uh, and of anything of value, which is exactly what Donald Trump just said he wants to do. Okay, so that's the law. But then we get to step number two. And step number two is what happened in 2011. Back when, when uh, back, back when, you know, a few months ago when we read the Mueller report, we read about these charges against these Russians, these 13 Russians who were charged by Robert Mueller, and they were charged with conspiracy to commit bank fraud and aggravated identity theft. But what they were doing was trying to flip our election. Why were they not charged under 30121 U.S. Code, where it says a foreign national directly or indirectly may not make a contribution or donation or of money or anything of value? Why weren't they charged under that? Well, it turns out that in 2011, a circuit court judge by the name of Brett Kavanaugh wrote an opinion about this law, about U.S. Code 30121. Two, two foreign nationals brought a case challenging this, two, oh, this was this passed in 2002, this law, that bans foreign corporations or contributions to U.S. campaigns. The case was Blumen versus Federal Election Commission, Blumen versus FEC. And what Kavanaugh wrote was that people who are not citizens cannot contribute directly to candidates or campaigns for, quote, express advocacy work. But he, and I'm quoting now from, uh, from a piece in Mother Jones by Samantha Michaels, but he gutted the portion of the law that banned foreign spending that is not, quote, express advocacy. In other words, if, if a foreign government wants to run an ad that says, you should vote for Donald Trump, we love Donald Trump, that's express advocacy. That's still banned under Brett Kavanaugh's interpretation of this law. But if a foreign government runs an ad that says, let's say, you know, Trump is, ends up running against uh, Pete Buttigieg, if a foreign government runs an ad that says, Pete Buttigieg is a terrible guy because, you know, back 10 years ago, he, he tore up the streets in, in South Bend or something. That's not express advocacy. That's simply electioneering, right? That's, it's, not, it's not specifically campaigning for somebody. And according to Brett Kavanaugh, that's not a violation of this law. And in fact, the, 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 the group, uh, this, this company, uh, it's called Comport, Concord Management and, Consultant, and Consulting. It's run by a, a Russian oligarch who's close to Putin. And they spent, allegedly spent $1.25 million a month 
to set up rallies here in the United States on behalf of Trump, to spread disinformation, and quoting the, the Mueller report, quote, to interfere in U.S. political and electoral processes without detection of their Russian affiliation. And they were charged with conspiracy to defraud the United States. This company, this Russian-based company, is now coming forward and saying, because of Brett Kavanaugh's ruling on this law, you can't charge us. This is their defense. They're saying, and, and, this, and the, here are the messages for which they were charged. They were running Facebook ads, memes, out on Twitter and whatnot, that said, and I quote, Hillary Clinton doesn't deserve the black vote. That's not express advocacy. That's not saying we love Donald Trump. Please vote for him. According to, you know, according to Brett Kavanaugh's ruling on this law. They had another one. This is another one that said, Hillary is Satan and her crimes and lies have proved just how evil she is. Well, that's not express advocacy. According to Brett Kavanaugh, what this law, a foreign national directly or indirectly may not make a contribution or donation of money or any other thing of value in connection with any federal, state, or local election. That seems pretty unambiguous to me. But Brett Kavanaugh says, no, 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 no. That means ex you, can't, you can't do it if you're expressly advocating for a particular candidate. But, you know, if you're trying to change a law, if you're trying to attack a candidate, if you, anything else, that's fine, says Brett Kavanaugh. And this was back when he was a circuit court judge. This is crazy. This is legal, according to Brett Kavanaugh. And this Russian company is challenging this, this indictment that, that Mueller brought against them. And by the way, Mueller didn't indict them for election fraud, for, you know, because of Kavanaugh's decision. And so, you know, Donald Trump looks around and says, who shall I put on the Supreme Court? <laughs> Brett Kavanaugh is going to back him up. I mean, you know, Congress needs to clarify this law. They need to pass another law that just explicitly lays it out to knock down Kavanaugh's ruling. But this is how far we've gone. We are like, you know, full-blown, full-bore into the teeth of this hurricane of, of, of roaring fascism, authoritarianism, one-man rule, strong-man rule. This is not how the United States is supposed to run. And, and, and we've got this president saying, oh yeah, sure, you know, if Norway wants to give me information, a thing of value, to quote the law, I'll take it. Obviously, he wasn't thinking of Norway. We now know that there were six different countries who were involved in trying to swing our election back in 2016, and, and some of them again in 2018. And they included Saudi Arabia, Russia, the UAE, and Israel. There were two others. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't remember them off the top of my head. I don't have the story in front of me, but I remember those very clearly. That those countries, you know, all run by, right now, you know, the people in power in those countries, authoritarian or authoritarian-leaning right-wingers who have aligned themselves with Donald Trump independent of the American Constitution, independent of American law. In fact, I would say in defiance and flouting American law. And now Donald Trump is saying, hey, you know, I'm only polling at 41% here. Uh, you know, even Pete Buttigieg is beating me in the, in the, in the, uh, in the uh, polls, right? Buttigieg, Harris, uh, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, uh, Elizabeth Warren, Bernie Sanders, Joe Biden, every single one of them beats Donald Trump in the polls right now. So he's like, hey, you know, anybody want to help out? I'll be real nice to you after I get reelected. <laughs>